Coming straight down Breeze from 73 yards. So he'll land it in a position probably 25 feet short of it, flattening it out and release it back to this flag. It'll be a little careful. Oh, that's absolutely perfection. Straight oh, in, wow, a little sorry. bit fast. Oh. Third shot now into 15 for Adam Scott. I think he's done particularly well to get it there for two. Oh, you have got to be joking. That is the most unlikely birdie of the entire day. <laughs> You never know what this game has in store for you from one day to the next. That is outrageous, isn't it? Scott moves to within two of Abby Barnrat. Horschel playing down the slope over the mound. Oh, my goodness. That was going easily 30 feet past. <laughs> I love this grass. Oh, where did it go? Oh my goodness, fantastic stuff. That was stealing at least one shot, if not two, as that was going to scamper downhill all the way to the back of the green. Let's head over to 15. Alex Levy started at the 10th hole. Bird is at 10 and 12, so going along very nicely. Go. Ah. Go. And how about that? I think he's got it. <laughs> he's got it. That's uh, it's louder than any crowd. Sixth hole in one ever on the 15th. Oh, look at that little Woo! nice. Yes, the key. Where are the keys? Where are the keys to that car? <laughs> wow. Down in that heavy grass, gosh, it's lush over there. Hello, 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 hello. An unlikely birdie, but gratefully accepted. He's definitely in the three-putt territory as far as distance from the hole. He's actually pretty level, Jay. There's not much uphill in this, so maybe easy to whiz this one by. Feels uphill, but it definitely isn't. Go on. As the saying goes, it wasn't a hard putt, it was just a long putt. Well, he said there wasn't much in it. I mean, come on, nothing to it. He's given a large bucket of balls, and this one might not drop again. Matt Wallace at the first, his 10th. Again, trying to just ease across that, cut it back into the breeze. Ah. Oh, in you go. We've been talking a lot about eagles so far in this first round. Talked about the two of Tyrrell Hatton. He Just been joined by he, a fellow Englishman. He doesn't Matt know Wallace. He doesn't know you. He's got the putter out of the bag. <laughs> Habit. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be very glad to put it back in the bag. Show fleet, the ninth, and oh, beautiful Sandy there. Deep bunker, number nine, popped it out. Lovely shot. Out in 34, seven under. Now, this is disappointing for Polder. Fourth shot. He'll be trying to pitch it in there, but he's going to be dejected, that's for sure. He said he'd heard the rumors about Podrick Harrington saying he and Sergio Garcia were in pole position for one of his. Two of his three picks, you wouldn't. Oh, Ian Poulter! Over the back of the fourth, the par five, watch uh, Bezaden Hurt here. He's opened up the club face. You oh. are kidding. What a bonus. Occasionally that happens, but not very often. Nothing but net. Beautiful. Hey. Just going to feed it around the tree and just try and cut it into the fin here, Fitzpatrick. <coughs> oh, we want that one again. That's for certain. 
will keep running out too. It's running out. It couldn't, could it? Oh, a dandy of a shot. A little bit of element of good fortune, but he played it perfectly. Nice one, Billy. To Ram at the 13th. He birdied the 10th. Part the 11th and 12th. This is his approach to the 13th. An example of the control of his iron play. Just pitched it in the bank there, trickled down there. And that took him to seven under par. It's a bright morning, hardly a breath of wind. Oh, Wade Ormsby playing with Minwoo Lee into the 12th. But it's infinity green. Oh, how do you like that? That's 204 balls. Well, he was just level par today, just trundling along. <laughs> I think it was a better celebration from Min Woo Lee than it was Wade Ormsby, who made it. <laughs> to Shane Lowry, who's got it to seven under. He's playing the 14th. This is going to take a little touch, Brendan. Magic hands. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> That's unbelievable. Down the hill for Fleetwood. Left to right. Pretty flat at the hole. It gets better and better and better. It's four birdies and five. It goes five under for the day. And the two-time champion here goes to the top of the leaderboard. We go up to Poulter. Just trying to get down in two, really. Holes cut in a little bit of a bowl over there in the back right portion of the green. You can see it collected. Could he? Oh, yeah. Wow, and that was 10 feet short. It was not going anywhere with the hole. <laughs> oh, wow. That'll bring a smile to his face. Thomas Peters. Second shot at the last. Not in his nature to be conservative. Especially from the fairway, looking for a final flourish. What a golf shot that is. Rose is second. They've nearly hit the green with this pin today. Over on the left, take a look at it. Plenty of slope to the right to help you access it. If you dare. And dare he does. Oh. Man alive, what is going on here? You think the guys in the stands have got their money's worth just for those two shots? Elevated tee at the 14th, little downhill par three, 161 yards, and watch this. <laughs> Boom, right down the flag. come up short here on this difficult up the hill pass three. There you go. That's how you do it. That'll make them cheer on that big BMW grandstand at the back. Nice start to the back nine. It's nice to have a few barbs flying around the commentary box, isn't it? <laughs> Alice, it just adds to the enjoyment of this. So does that shot for Romain Longasque. That's a keeper. To Germany's Max Kiefer playing with Jeff Winter at the first. This is no piece of cake. Just drop this, yeah, just on the edge. Got a little bit of purchase out of the rough there. Yeah. Did it ever. Nice little three to start for Max Kiefer. Different ball flight for Lipsky, much lower. Loves to turn it over from right to left, so this might suit him here. Hello, in you go. Go on, go on, go on! Not sure if Anthony's got a little bet on Lipsky there. He's very excited about oh, it. Oh, yes. <laughs> well, Bob McIntyre on four, 72 feet. Nah. Would you believe it? 
one of your putts as well, Ken. One of those that just drops in the front. <laughs> That's normally from four feet, though. <laughs> that was a fantastic putt. From probably two or three feet off the left. And that's just nothing to stop his ball. Don't stop. Don't stop. Oh. Don't stop. Oh. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> it took a little wobble at the hole, a wobble left, and then he, a wobble right. He had turned his back, he just said. I thought it had missed when it wiggled back in to the right. He said all along, don't stop, don't stop. 16, Westwood. 244 he's got. Pin on the left, downwind. Big five iron. Maybe a four for Westwood. Just needs a bounce short of this green. Very humped and hollowed down there. We oh, flew beautiful it shot. What a shot, Jay. Wow, just collecting in even closer. Nearly the rarest bird of all, the albatross. It's going to be a tapped in eagle. He cannot see the green. He knows it's good, though. As a player, when you flush it, you know. Didn't have too much loft on the wedge earlier, but it looks like he's now made the decision to putt this. It's going to be very quick in that last 10 feet. That's, that's big. Wow, slow down. Oh, oh, oh! You've got to be joking. Absolute monster. Dane Burr messed up. Second shot at the last. Hello, hello, hello. Wow, the tapping eagle to come. Same could be said of this man as well. Second on the way at 18 for Tyrrell Hatton. Starting it down the left side, trying to find the gap, does exactly that. Amazing. 23 rounds here and never had an eagle. He's had one at 10 <laughs> today in his opening hole, and on his ninth hole, the par 5 18th here, it looks likely he's going to find the second one. He's going for it all the way. Oh. 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 I guess that was the right choice. That's the game of golf, isn't it? It's not how, it's how many. Another player going well. Two T start. Uh, we'll just catch up by the end of this afternoon. And it's been a good opening for Besaidenhut. There's a car for a hole and... Oh, no! Oh, no. Oh. Oh. Good grief. Look at this. Nikolai Hoygaard. Oh, that'll do nicely, continuing his form from last week where he picked up his first European Tour victory at the Ryder Cup venue in 2023, Marco Simone. What else does 2021 have in store for us in terms of storylines? Twins winning back-to-back -back events. Chris Paisley a little earlier today, and this is the closest we've come to an ace. Oh, oh wow. That was close as well, wasn't it? Perfect tee shot off the tenth. His opening hole is a bit chilly first thing. Not a breath of wind. What a... Little five woody floated in here, right down the flag. Par five there for two. And that was his first eagle of the day at the tenth. Awkward. But not that awkward. Get in there. <laughs> Three birdies, one bogey so far, seven under par. Now, has he got a decent lie here at the at the 16th? He's playing back into the breeze, which helps a little. Oh, he's played it well. Oh, he's got another one. Can you believe that? What a run he's had. Eagles the 10th, birdie the 12th, and then three on the spin. Beautiful. 
sat at the third. Ian Poulter up over the ridge for birdie. Just trickling it over the top. It's good for pace. It's good for line. In it goes for Ian Poulter. Two birdies in the first three holes. A little bit of magic there. Good for birdies for good. They wouldn't have expected to get the $75 from that one. 75 euros. Chibanka Sharma down below the level of the green, down to the right of 16. Oh, just slips the club under beautifully. That deserved nothing less than going in. I bumped into the gentleman this morning that Chibanka's staying with this weekend. He said he's never met a nicer man. Over to 13. Such a pretty hole, isn't it? And Australia's Wade Ormsby. It is an absolutely stunning part of the golf course. All right to left, all the way here for the South Australian. In it goes. <laughs> 97. This lie is really good. Shouldn't be an issue. It's all about the contact. The yardage is really good. Coming straight down breeze. Might even get a little bit of action on this. Even though it is down breeze. Thank you. Fairly impressive, that one. One thirty-three for Besaden Hout here at 11 up the hill. Plays about four yards longer than that. Holes cut over in a little bowl there. If you throw it right or a little bit long, it'll just spin and feed right down to the hole. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You know, that might have been in a slight divot, I thought, by the look of it. I'm sure Jay will tell us. Oh, how good is that from Tyrrell Hatton? And the fairway sand. I mean, that's a 99 out of 100. A testy one here for Shane Lowry. Trundling down, looking good. Looking good. Oh, what a pat. What a pat. That'll improve the mood. Yes, yes. Not that it's ever that bad from Shane Lowry. Let's go ahead to nine and an outside chance of a birdie for Justin Thomas. A lot to take into account if you're going to knock this one in. Drifting right. Should come back. Should come back. Oh! A scarce two at the ninth. Beautiful stuff. Out in 32, 13 under, one behind. To the 14th, a magnificent par three. Pin of the back left today, front right yesterday. Manhattan. Oh! What's that? An inch or two away from a hole in one. struggling today but this at 11 oh, hang on. birdie birdie start to the back nine par 3 15th Romain Langasque 150 yards this one Pin 10 on three. Oh, very close. 10 on three from the left. Well, that should be a two. John Rahm. Long way for birdie, but this would help. It's tracking nicely. Well, he's on the move again.
So Stenson for another half of the fairways. He's got the perfect angle too. Now this, now this could the, this could wipe away the ales and the problems of the last few holes. Just stick one in here close. Find yourself a three and go again. Just a six iron. It's straight at it. Knows the distance. Oh, it's not bad, is it? It's not bad. Richard, you called it. Nearly, got... nearly a two. Ne nearly it a Tommy was. Fleetwood Albatross. Remember, he made one down here a few years ago. That, that, now, that's Henrik Stenson. I don't know who the guy was the first few holes. This is quick, this down here. Just want to land it just on the green. There we go. Why not? Why not? He might be good with his irons and everything else, but his short game, his putting. And the thing that probably impresses me most about it is the mind he has for this game. No, nothing really seems to faze him. Tyrrell Hatton, quite a long way from the hole, little slope to navigate here at 12. Yeah, just watch this do a right turn at the end. Surely not. In the side door from long range. Tip of the cap there to you, Tyrrell Hatton. Okay, second at the 10th. And what a honey bunch this is. This is going to be, sit there, it's all downhill, magnificent shot. That back portion of the green runs away from it. It's not too difficult to knock it over the back, but that is a shot of the day, I would say. That's a beauty. And Shane Lowry. Two under par for his round today. Hasn't really put the step wrong yet. Oh. 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 Now you get oh. friendly bounces and you get friendly bounces. Ms. McIntyre, it just depends on his lie. A decent lie, not too bad, but you know, clingy lies is tricky. Chipping up the slope. Yeah, well played. Well played. Exceptionally well played. Hey, hey. 68. The hole. America's John Catlin at the par 5, 12th. The winner in Austria earlier this season. Hello? Yeah. Oh. Eagle three for Catlin. Well, that'll do nicely. Mm, that's the way to get back to even par. Not the best of tee shots from Kerhonen at four. Nothing much wrong with the second thought. In for a turn, what a start. Birdie at the second, followed by Birdie at the fourth, and could hold him to a nine under. Birdie part for JB Hansen towards that back left pin on six today. It's come a little off the right for the most part, straighten out at the end. It's tracking. Nothing but net. You have to go back to 1974, and someone you'll know well, Ken, Peter Oosterhaus, is the last man to win the last two events in a European Tour season. Is that right? Not an easy putt to get pace bang on. I think this is a great view of it, the hump they've got to come over. Fantastic, just fantastic. Such a difficult putt, up and over the hill, and then the green away from you. The last thing you want to do is leave it short, which you certainly didn't do that. To Tent, one of our more recent winners in Nacho, Elvira. One under par for his round so far today. This at the par three. Oh. Very nearly an ace. We'll see from an awkward spot. He's played a, a worldie there, an absolute worldie. Decent like club face over on the down slope, just rigid with the arms, pops the club under the ball, lands as softly as thistle down and round in 68. Robert McIntyre at the par three second over the valley, only 140 yards. Yeah, flags just six yards on. Makes the hole shorter, but it, I think it's, it's a, well, it's definitely 
a tougher pin to get out, unless, of course, you're Robert McIntyre and fancy doing a bit of that. Rose for another birdie. Just in rows. I mean, it, it wasn't his best iron shot, but it, he backed up with a great pop. Well, one against the head there because that was screaming five, wasn't it? To Lee Westwood, who's having a horrid day, I'm afraid. It's at 17. Well, it's something and nothing in a way because he is level par with just the closing par five to come. To watch another DP World Tour video, click here, and to subscribe, click here.